Today I'm with Austin Conti. He is the CEO and co-founder of Tenna. Austin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So Austin, let's talk about the construction industry. You've been in the industry for a long time. You understand the space. And now one of the big things that contractors really need to understand is tracking their assets. Why is it so important right now when we think about all the things that are happening in a connected city? I would say, you know, on, again, my background's been in construction. I've been working on construction jobs my entire career. And uh, a key component in building any infrastructure is knowing where your materials are, where your equipment is, and also uh, your the people on the job site. And it's so important to know where these pieces are at the right time uh, to make sure the projects are done on schedule, uh, done at a lower cost, and done in a more efficient, efficiently way. So from understanding, knowing where they are, and also the preventative maintenance is really powerful uh, for the job sites. And you think about that on a lot of projects. We, we've talked about this, you and I, in, in the past, is that contractors sometimes don't know where their assets are, and that can be very costly and time-consuming, and the efficiency of, of not knowing this is really can be troublesome if you think about a project overall. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, contractors are hardworking men and women, and, you know, these projects are complex. They have assets moving uh, around all the time, and, uh, you know, it just knowing where everything is is very important uh, to make sure the jobs get done uh, in an efficient manner. And it's not necessarily just the large yellow iron, you know, your cranes, your backhoes, your bulldozers. It's also all the small assets. And uh, what we think is very important is to be able to track all the assets regardless of the size and value on your job sites uh, across a company. And that's funny because sometimes people get lost in that idea of thinking it's got to be the big assets. It's the small assets that you lose all the time that are sometimes the most time consuming and the most costly because those are the ones you're searching for. Yeah, definitely. Everybody knows they have a, a Connex box full of stuff uh, and that stuff is very important. Uh, so no, again, knowing where the, the walk behind compactors are, your pumps uh, is just as important and can be critical to a job as much as your D6 dozer. Let's talk about, in general, the technology. Why is this technology so important? What's the biggest benefit behind all this technology today that we're seeing? Because I think we're talking about prices coming down, the efficiency, how you can link it to other solutions that we have. I mean, there's a lot of benefits that we didn't have years ago. Yeah, definitely. I think there's innovation happening in three levels. Uh, one is from the network carrier side. So the introduction of CADM1 systems, uh, lower networks, is enabling the hardware to connect to uh, the engines of the heavy equipment in a much more cost-effective manner. It also doesn't drain the battery life of the machines, which is very important. Uh, secondly, the, the enabling all of the cell phones that you have on job sites is an innovation. So you don't have to buy a piece of hardware for everything. You're enabling uh, the innovation and hardware that's already been on the project sites. And thirdly, just uh, cloud computing. So by connecting all of the IoT sensors uh, to these new networks, it's very powerful and, and allows you to gain more information about your assets than you couldn't, couldn't before. When they have this information now that they didn't have before, is this allowing them to be more competitive or being able to do more jobs when we think about these smart cities now because they have information about their assets? Yes, I, I think it's making you know, the, the entire industry more competitive, uh, which is better for you know, smart infrastructure in general. So if you're, if you're constructing projects, in a more efficient manner uh, that's better for the market, more projects get done, and then smart cities can actually be enabled from uh, building the city smart from constructing them as a contractor and also then building in the IoT sensors within the city in general. So uh, I believe it across the board from a construction side and then also an end product infrastructure side, uh, it's very powerful. Are we seeing enough construction companies leveraging, tracking their assets like they should, or we still have a long way for them to understand that there's a lot of benefit here? And what, like you guys are doing yeah. at Tenna. Yeah, um, I think it's, you know, uh, that's a good question. I think contractors, you know, are great inventors and uh, that everyone knows they should be doing tracking. It's something that's happening in the market, but not everyone has a solution yet. Uh, so it's not a period where I feel people don't know the benefits of preventative maintenance and knowing where their assets are, uh, but not everyone has put a system in yet. So we're seeing kind of a turn, turn the tide. Uh, where the benefits are known, but the technology and solutions are now being provided. Do you think we'll see more rapid adoption as this technology continues to grow and people start seeing there's a real ROI here? I think in the next you know, year to three years, 90% of contractors will have 
a telematic system, we'll have an asset management platform, uh, we'll have preventative maintenance in their company. Well, Austin Conti of Tenna, thank you for being with us. We appreciate you spending all this time today. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Stick around. We've got a lot more to come right here on Construct Tech TV.